This looks like we're just going to hit a wall here. Oh, I can't even see what's happening. Oh, we're tumbling. No. What's happening? Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky, episode 91, where we've kind of gone back to our our little paradise planet here, and we're actually, uh, I'm not trying to build a, a Geo Bay for my ships, I'm trying to summon my ships, um, but we're going to go ahead and call the Nautilon and see what the ocean looks like on this planet. Okay, hold up, hold up. So there is some depth here. Oh, wow. So these islands are sort of large cliffs, which I thought would be the case. Which means there could be some deep ravines. It's all these, like, bones and coral and stuff. Okay, it's it's kind of neat. Let's get a sonar scan going. Let's see. Drown starship detected. How far away are we talking? Four minutes? Yeah, I don't know if I want to do all of that. Is that my base? I don't believe that is my base. Okay, I think we're going to go back to this planet, grab our starship, and fly over there. I wish the Nautilon was a little faster. I'm not going to lie. I I feel like uh, as much fun as I've, as I've wanted to have looking forward to exploring the oceans, I'm, I'm going to be pretty candid. I feel like having to leave the ocean to get in my starship to fly to the next point to land, to get back in my submarine, sort of detracts from the underwater experience a little bit. Now, I get it, you know, your sonar found something far away, not everything is going to be close by, but I still feel like the submarine should be fast enough that I should be able to travel underwater if I want to. Landing area better be clear. You better render that terrain. I'm coming in. We got a neat little alien artifact here. Ooh, what do we have there? An ancient plaque. Um, down starship first. Ancient plaque second. Ah, oh, this game this game. So one of the things that I just love about this game is exactly what we're doing now. So we came back, for reference, we came back to a planet that we had been on in the very beginning, early parts of the game, and there is still all this coolness to explore and check out. Okay, hopefully we're not going to run into any madness. C-Class shuttle. Uh, nobody really cares about that. Um, shadows? I oh, know, we've researched all the life forms on this planet, so there shouldn't be anything to surprise us. Emphasis on shouldn't be. These are minerals. Okay, these oceans are pretty cool. It's definitely different than the other ocean other ocean spots we were in. I can I can totally see the difference. And I do like that. This teal water, it's got these like grass looking structures and these weird glowing bits of coral. It's pretty neat. You know what we haven't done is searched for submerged ruins. 
eight minutes. Okay, well, we'll be flying over there. Make no mistake about that. Come on. Right after we visit this alien plaque. Tribute to Samans, the Korvax plaque. The strange stone marker imparts the wisdom of the Korvax echoes to those who desire it. I do not know what dialect it speaks, yet somehow I understand the story of those who once worshipped here. Disconnection is not permanent. It is merely the start of a new equation. On Korvax Prime, entities who passed on into the Korvax echoes left their shell for their descendants. So has been the way of the Korvax, an endless carapace cycle that knows no end. Hmm. This way will continue. It will continue for as long as our lights still shine. I would like help with the language, please. Corvax word for friend. Ugh, our ship's all the way over there. And that just seems like that's too far for me. I'm sorry. Out of the way, Sentinel. Out of the way! Boom! Oh, that should have broke the Sentinel. All right, there we go. Submerged ruins. I think this is probably the only thing we haven't seen in the Nautilon tutorial missions is what these submerged ruins are all about. So this will be kind of neat, something new. And this is an ocean we did always want to explore. Although I didn't know then what I know now, which is that really if we're gonna hunt for downed if we're going to hunt for down ships, we should do it in a system with a high economy, high class economy. No, okay, that's an abandoned building. I don't want that. I don't care about that. Look out for the trees, Thranxes! The trees! Whoa, right here on the edge, huh? Okay. I'm okay with that. Let's do it. Look at all these islands. They look so small from orbit, but these islands are massive. It's a trading post. Six hours. That's over by... Yeah, that's, that's Chen's base. Okay, alright. Let's get our Nautil on and see what this is all about down here. Oh, whoa. Okay, it's similar but different. What the heck is that? All right, hold on. It's like Mercury breaking out of the... Joshua Tage Convergence Refracted Light? I'll bite. I hear a voice, soft but insistent, growing ever louder as I linger before that ancient altar. It flows closer, the water rushing about me, demanding that I listen to its tale. Uh, I'll accept the waves, sure. I went down to the beach today. There's something about the sea at this time of year. It draws you in, distorts your sense of time. Salty frost on stubby grass, the sand blowing off the tops of the dunes. No one else for miles. Ooh, that does sound nice. People love the sound of waves, but it takes gray skies and high winds to really feel it understand their never-ending crash, the drum they beat upon the land. It makes me shiver. I pull back and the roar of the ocean subsides. As the light of the ruin fades, I find an ancient key, perfect despite its age. A trident key? No, 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 hold on. Get my micro bubble gas pressurizer thing back online. A trident key? Is there like a chest somewhere to. Uh huh. Sealed sea chest? Sealed sea chest, sealed sea chest. There's a couple of them.
but I only have one trident key. And a pearl offering? Oh, I don't have any pearls. What? Some sort of cave. No, we found that one. Hold on. Where was the other one? Wasn't there another one? Sealed sea chest. Sealed sea chest. So this also requires a trident key and a pearl offering. But wait, I only got one trident key, didn't I? Yeah, I just have the one. So this is like the opposite problem of the other the other the other ruins. What was that? All right, the oppressiveness of the water is starting to get to me a little bit. So the other ruins, they have more keys than chests, and this place is more chests than keys. What? That can't be. There's got to be more keys here. And we need some pearl offerings. Whoa. Oh, it's this thing again. An alluring specimen. Okay, well... In the comments, I was told that I should try mining this. So... I think we're gonna try mining it. It's just a bunch of pure ferrite and paraffinium. Okay. Doesn't seem so bad. Although, I guess we'll see what happens once it's gone. Okay, that, uh, that did not seem to be a problem, really. We're not going to hold on to that stuff, though. We'll just take the ferrite. I am going to take these pearls, though. Because I know we need them. Ooh, it's getting deep over here. Hold on, hold on. I'm starting to get turned around. The boiling rainstorm on the surface is starting to make it hard to see down here. All right, that armored clam is pretty close by. I'm just gonna keep using our oxygen to stay good down here. Although, you know what? Don't we have... We have resources on here, don't we? Oh, we have pearls and cytophosphate and all the... Okay. All right. We don't need any more pearls. What we need are more keys. Let's, um, I guess let's open one and see what kind of stuff it has in it. And then we'll just make the determination if we're going to keep looking for keys. Trident key and a pearl offering. A haunted cephalopod fossil. A well-preserved marine treasure found deep under the ocean. It was protected from the elements by a thick sea chest. It's at least 200 years old. Highly valuable to collectors of ancient artifacts. It's worth about 108,000. 185,000. Really? That's... Um... 
Right, so we just got the one trident key. And that's that, huh? So you get one trident key per ruins. There's three chests. Uh, I guess we chose poorly, too, because that one doesn't seem to be worth all that much. Uh, I want to believe there's more to it. But ultimately... I think it's just sort of lackluster. I'm not all that impressed. Let's put these aquatic doodads back on the Nautilon. And I guess we'll keep the cephalopod fossil. We'll go ahead and we'll sell it. But I think we've had enough fun on this starting ocean. I'm ready to I'm ready to go back to what we were doing. Come on. I'm ready to head back to our icy base and take this uranium and build some auto miners and get it get it back to what we were doing. But this has been a, a kind of a fun little detour. I don't regret it. But it's just one of those things. There is always more that you can lose yourself in in this game than might be what your immediate objective was. But if you love to explore, as I do, then there's really no wrong way to play this game. You can just explore ad nauseum. Ah, frigates for sale, you say? I would like to recruit some frigates. What do we have? Another trade vessel? C-class trade specialist? Sure. We'll level you up. I don't want another trade specialist, though. I would love to get another industrial ship. Ah, this looks mostly... Um, you're industrial, are you not? No, you're a fuel... Yeah, you're a fuel ta uh, tanker. And we've got, what, we've got like a combat ship over here. I would like a combat ship, combat specialist. Sure. We'll we'll level them up sending them on expeditions. Um, I don't want to I don't want to hold out for for high class ships anymore than when I know we can just we can level them up over time. This is an industrial or is this no, this is the fuel the fuel ship again. Ugh. I don't really need a fuel ship. All right, I think we can leave them be. And that's not our base. That is. All right, execute slingshot, gravity slingshot maneuver. Crossing the Terminator into the day side, across the ocean. There we go. Let's rotate. Ah, oh, but then we have the other half of what we were talking about, which is salvaged technology modules on this planet. No, I don't think that's what we're going to do here. Ah, oh, it's tempting. But we also need drop pods. And we can get those on the other, on our ice planet. We can get drop pods. And we've, we've hunted a lot of the drop pods near this base on this planet. We've already cleared them out. And we run a very high risk if we start searching for them and scanning for them. We're going to drive ourselves to ones that we've already explored unless we go somewhere else. Which we could do. It wouldn't be like the end of the world. I don't think it's what I want to do. Just to sell the fossil. I don't really want to talk to the farmer necessarily. Yeah, I think we I think we go back to our ice planet. Let's do it. Let's stay let's stay thinking forward and not so much backward. 
names. And it doesn't look like they've accepted our new name yet, so... I'm just going to assume that's the one since it has returned to the mission agent. Let's do it. All right, Akuri, Akuri, Akuri. Oh, I think our frost crystal is planted and ready for harvest. And hold on, we do have some salvage technology I'm going to spend right this second. Blueprint research. Let's do these cuboid sections, interior stairs. Oh, more and more. It just keeps going. Yeah, we need to we need to continue hunting that down whenever we get a chance. I don't know if I want to do that yet. Let's look at advanced ion batteries. Are going to take ionized cobalt. Or can we just buy some advanced ion batteries? what we can do is we can process this cobalt into ionized cobalt and then we'll make some more batteries so I'm thinking two three four just to keep us at the the six auto miners per ore deposit that we've been shooting for Uh, we need metal plating. Okay, well that's that's the thing we're just going to straight up pay for. I think we're going to recharge our little thermal protector. So it's two metal plates per. Six, eight, we'll just get ten just to have a few extra. I don't have a problem with that. I'm totally okay with that. Okay, portable technology. Let's go three, four, five, and six. Wow, we could have gone more if we wanted to. I don't think we needed to. Get you spinning up. You we will harvest and then spin up. Uh, hold up. How much condensed carbon are we looking at? Okay, we, we are going to have to make some more, but we'll have enough to do this. Oh, come, come now. Don't don't fight with me. So we've got two more, and yeah. We'll have just enough to make more. There we are. Oh, we're now in the shadow of this rock. That's pretty cool. And our freighter is still hanging out overhead. Very nice. This is going to be great getting, getting all this frost work going. I'll be able to put windows everywhere. That's right. Okay. Planted. It has been planted. Now... I think we uh, we don't necessarily grab the oxygen yet because we need to make more condensed carbon. So instead, let's grab the ionized cobalt. Condensed carbon followed by the oxygen. Voila. Okay. That'll put us back 
in the green for condensed carbon fuel. We're gonna leave that oxygen for now, but what we do what we are going to need is a storage system set up here. I don't remember which is which. Nine, eight, seven, six. Let's try six. It's empty. It looks good. So what? We just slam the dioxide and the frost crystal in there for now? I think that's probably the right call. Just for now. Although we are going to want uh, dioxide in our inventory, right? I mean, seems like we would. Alright, let's get this filled up. Yep. Process more. We'll just come over here and we'll grab this oxygen. Do we really only have 17 condensed carbon on us? Because we put everything we made back into the large refiner. Ah, I see. So we'll grab this, we'll top off our oxygen and then our atmospheric condensers, and then I guess we're going to go hunting for drop pods. I do believe that is the correct thing to do at this juncture. All right, so now we're going to have oxygen. Over here we should have... We're going to have the raid on, right? Yeah. Again, I don't know if it's worth double harvesting these gases from multiple planets, but uh, it appears like you have a limit that you can only build three of these per planet. So it seems like to not have three on every planet we have an outpost on seems to be a waste. And I don't know how much of this, uh, you know, radon and nitrogen and stuff we're going to need moving forward, so... Might as well just make a lot of it. Might as well. I would very much like to continue this condensed carbon trek and... Let's expand our cargo. Let's let's expand our cargo capacity. That's that's the road that's the road I want to be on. Okay, so that being said, I think we are going to put a permanent Exocraft summoning station here, sort of right underneath our our landing pad is appropriate. Do we have the stuff to make another one should we need to? Ion battery. So we need more ion batteries. And those take cobalt. So we're just going to buy those outright. I don't ever want to be on a planet and be unable to build an Exocraft summoning station. That's probably my worst fear. Let's, let's just stock up on that. Okay. Now... Let's get the Pilgrim back over here. And where would we go first? More frost wart. Seems like a good way to get a jump on our supplies. No, you know what? Let's scan for a drop pod. See where they want to take us. Okay, so three minutes in that direction, and okay, so over there we're going to hit the frost wart first. Let's do it.
Oh, we slow down so much when that boost wears off. Look at the frost wart. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of frost wart. We're like under this umbrella, this this parasol of stone. Yeah, this this coupled with the auto miners that we just set up is going to get our frost wart collection sort of locked down in a good way. And then we're just going to have to set up a desert outpost and a fiery planet outpost. I'm really tempted to go back to that extreme desert that we found with the high with the high temperature during the day and the high and the low temperature at night and the giant sandstorms. That desert was kind of cool. The desert was kind of cool. I was hoping for it to be an ocean, a desert planet with an ocean, because I didn't even know that could be a thing, but apparently it is. You can absolutely find a desert planet with big oceans. And I thought that sounded really neat for a base, but our underwater base is going to have to be slightly put on the back burner. All right, so we're still trying to head towards our drop pod. However, now we are really established with the frost crystal. Let's go ahead and store some of this over there. We need the 12 magnetized ferrite. We don't need the 12 magnetized ferrite. Come on. Come on. We're still kicking around this selenium. Uh, and the cactus flesh. All right, let's see. Any underground technology modules in the direction we're trying to go? I don't see any, so let's just head that way and we'll collect storm crystals. There's one. Ooh, there's there's a nest of three of them. And don't forget, this planet, even though we haven't seen much of it, has a large ocean. Which, oh, oh, that just boggles my mind. because it's so cold, you would think it would be frozen over. But I guess even cold planets can have deep enough oceans that they can't freeze. I guess. Alright, let's look in the direction we're going, which is that direction. Uh-huh. There we have it, buried technology module. Ugh, I've got to get an engine module for this for this pilgrim. First, we get the storm crystals because they could go away at a moment's notice. Then we get the technology module. Mm, really? You look like oxygen to me. Thank you much. Alright, drop pods in that direction. The buried technology module it's a little bit out of the way. Let's let's go that way. Because as much as I want to get these drop pods, I really want to get all the base components squared away so I can start building elaborate bases. This looks like we're just going to hit a wall here. Oh, I can't even see what's happening. Oh, we're tumbling. No! What's happening? Not like this! Wait. 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 Okay. Oh! Storm Crystal. 
Oh wow. Yeah, we know we we did tumble a little bit a little bit down this this hot mess of a of a cliff. Let's let's cycle back around. And we'll grab hey. Ooh, a piece of candy. Where are we at? Okay, we're pretty close to it. I think if we just commit to just tunneling through this. Yep, just like this. Just like this, we'll be there in a minute. Plus, we're not going to get cold in this nice insulated tunnel. Here we go, until we break out through the top here, and now we're cold again. That's a sodium plant, that's not a storm crystal. Uh, we don't have anything in that direction. All right, and away we go. I think this is going to be a pretty steep drop, but we're going to take it. Ooh! Yay! That was surprisingly fun. Ah, you know what? If those are sodium nitrate crystals, or even dihydrogen crystals, I think we stop for them. It's condensed carbon, yet we still stopped for them. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. Ooh, predator. Technology modules right over there. Look at how many birds we're killing with one stone. It's like we're throwing a rock in the air and we hit four different birds, which, oh, why would you do that? No, never throw rocks in the air at birds. That's that's horrible. That's a horrible analogy. I don't even like it. Whoa, traction, traction. Where's the e-brake on this thing? I'm having a lot of fun with this game, if you can't tell. Oh, I just, I can't see anything. Whoa. You cannot be allowed to live. Sorry. I know, I know. Your your death knell is saddening. It is, to a degree, but you're quite a massive, scary predator. We could go out of the way. Humming egg. No, let's, let's make our way towards the drop pod. We need to actually get over there. Let's let's get over there. Ooh, that's right. Fuel required. Oh, just leave it on the screen. Thank you. Don't interrupt my fun again. Fuel required. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. Mm. Deforestation, anyone? We're just, we're totally leaving our, our impact on this planet as we... Uh, you're gonna... Mm. I don't like you. I don't like those plants at all. Oh my goodness, look at the time. I've been having so much fun, I lost track of time. Holy moly. Well, so this episode will just be a little bit long. Not terribly long but a little bit long thank you so much for joining me this has been no man's sky episode 91 i hope you've had a good time watching at least as much fun as i've had playing mm, because i've been having a blast uh, be sure to come back next time as we probably harvest up this frost wort and then i don't know we might just continue the hunt for more drop pods in fact Yep, there it is. Drop pod detected, and it looks like we're heading uh, in another direction. Kind of... Yeah, parallel to where we just came from. Um, but until next time, take care. <laughs>